Well, I had a feeling that a combination of HBO, Chernobyl writer Craig Mazin and game director Neil Druckmann would all combine to create a solid adaptation of The Last of Us as a big-budget TV show, and turns out, that's exactly what's happened. Reviews are pouring in for The Last of Us on HBO, which debuts next Sunday night, but the embargo has lifted for the first four episodes for those with early screeners. The result is a series that is being universally praised, both by newcomers but also those who are fans of the original game. The mantra that it needed to be extremely faithful to the original seems to have panned out, and the result is an extremely high quality series that looks to be a new flagship for HBO going forward. Right now, the series has a perfect 100% on Rotten Tomatoes, albeit only from 8 critics, update, now 29 critics, still 100%. Over on Metacritic, it has an 82, which may sound low given the scores of the last two Last of Us video games, but in the context of TV shows, it's actually pretty high. The show stars Pedro Pascal and Bella Ramsey as Joel and Deli, two survivors navigating bandits and fungal-based zombies in a ruined America. The Last of Us Part 1 and 2 secured countless skitty wins upon their releases, and many would consider them some of the best narrative-based games in existence, though Part 2 stumbled into its own manner of controversies, which is a topic for another day. This first season of The Last of Us on HBO should be an adaptation of the entire first game, and it's been implied that adapting part second of may take more than one season, given its size and dual perspectives. As for these early episodes, a lot of people I trust are saying a whole lot of good things about it. Here's the Washington Post's Gene Park This is significant praise because even as the video game curse has been broken by many recent properties, Arcane, Castlevania, Cyberpunk Edge Runners, Sonic, in all those cases, they are rarely direct adaptations of the games, but rather adaptations of the sea. Here, in The Last of Us, you have the same storyline, and in some places, the exact same script being used on screen. That really does not happen often with video game adaptations, and when it does, it often goes poorly. Also, this is not just another zombie show as my Forbes colleague Eric Kane explains what you're hearing is a collective sigh of relief from fans who were worried that somehow, despite the talent involved, this would get screwed up.